Right front. Right front? Left front. What I see is I see the horse drop the head on the left front, which is the comfortable leg, and at the beginning of the right front stride, the head comes up above where it would normally be. Mm -hmm. So instead of a weight-bearing lameness where the head starts at level and drops down on the comfortable leg, this head starts at level, and when he starts to pick up the right front and move that right front forward, the head comes swinging up. This is the perfect example of a non-weight-bearing lameness on the front leg. This is better than anything we had video-wise. <laughs> okay, but... I had one that, that was this good, but, but I've it, got it didn't... But i got to ask the question. <laughs> because head bob is normal with, especially Tennessee walkers and fox trotters, can that camouflage your diagnosis? He's not fox trotting though, uh, he's trotting. Well, yeah, he's hard trotting, but he's still gonna nod his head when he's hard, hard trotting. Mm. Mine do. <laughs> <laughs> there, there he's gated. Let's see if we can just get him to a regular trot. There we go. So, you guys see the head, is the head dropping on the comfortable leg more, or is it coming up on the uncomfortable leg more? He starts from where it uncomfortable. is, and his head comes up. Mm -hmm. That's just that's just gold as far as a uh... so a non weight bearing. That's a non weight bearing lameness right there. In the right shoulder, or the right leg, someplace. In the right front. So a non weight bearing lameness, that that's going to mean one of these things. It's going to be a fetlock. It's going to be a carpus. It's going to be elbow. It's going to be shoulder or it's going to be a thoracic skip from the left hind from the right hind, from the right hind. yeah yeah from the right hind a, a skip usually occurs from the same, same side, side. Okay. and that's because they're having it they're trying to start cantering up front mm -hmm. versus behind and one of the best ways you can tell if the horse has a thoracic skip is that will only show up as the gate gets longer the stride gets longer and the and the patella you know the back end starts interfering mm -hmm. with a short slow stride you won't see that skip that'll be normal but is if it if it was a lameness mm -hmm. a shoulder an elbow a carp you know a carpus or a fetlock in the front leg you would see it worse as they got slower because you'd be able you know it, the gait would slow down and you would see more, more time on that limb that's, that's right you would see more time to assess that asymmetry mm -hmm. so if this is something that that comes and goes and usually shows up when the gait lengthens mm -hmm. then you would implicate something behind if if on the other hand it's there all the time slow fast and whatnot then you would start looking at the front end but mm -hmm. uh, i can already tell you it's not navicular disease, it's not a fractured cuff and bone, it's not a foot abscess. All of those things would cause a weight-bearing weight, weight -bearing lameness. This is non-weight-bearing. So he doesn't actually mind putting weight on the foot. When mm -hmm. he has to pick it up and move it forward, man, he uses his head and neck and shoulder. Everything comes up to kind of help that. Pulls yeah, everything kind of comes up to yeah. help that leg move, move forward. Could you uh, do it in both directions one more time? Pete, maybe you could get him from over there with the sun behind you. Thanks. This is just such a great example. <laughs> so how would you isolate exactly what his problem is as far as... Um, well, we know he's a little sticky in the stifles, and, and fox trotters generally are. Um, so we would... First of all, what I would do is I would I would go about it. I would say the, the hind limb asymmetry probably isn't enough to justify what we're seeing up front, especially when he takes a couple bad steps there. Mm -hmm. So what I would do is go to it from the front end first and do some manipulations, knowing what the rule outs are, fetlock, carpus, elbow, shoulder, uh, knowing what our rule outs out, and see if I could worsen the lameness by manipulating one or more of those structures. And so once we get done, once he gets done doing this, that's exactly what we're go, gonna do. Jack, go. <laughs> go the other way, Jack. Um, but see, you've already ruled out a lot of things just from the standpoint that this this is a perfect this is a perfect example of a non-weight. This is the hardest lameness to show people 
because it's the it's rare and it's not much video wise and people never bring horses like this so now you've got an educational so now, tool now i've got a, a nice one yeah look at that oh it's beautiful <laughs> the right front stride shorter it's slower coming up yeah. the head shows up. that yeah. right there yeah. that is as good of a non-weight bearing front limb lameness as you could have I mean, if I could put this video in a frame, I'd hang it in my living room. That's beautiful. All right, I want to be an example.